Do you want to get high? Well, with these 10 redstone elevators, you can get high quickly and in style. And of course, we will be leaving the best for last. And if you have any further questions about these contraptions, I will leave a world download down in the description. So let's get started. This first design that I want to show you is based on Wooly Creeper's Slime Block Piston Elevator that was made back in 2014. So it's a pretty old concept, but it still works like a charm. I always thought that was a weird saying because charms don't work. I mean, so you, what, you're, what you're really saying is it works like a sweaty old necklace that doesn't do anything. Anyways, if we just step right in here, we'll see ourselves shooting to the sky and there we are, we're already on top. It's quick and effective. And if we wanna go down, all we have to do is press this button right here and jump down. There we are. And if we take a look around the back here, there's really not a whole lot to it. At the bottom, we have this redstone that powers this block, which powers this redstone line that snakes its way all the way up, powering the pistons at just the right moment. And at the top here, we'll see we have a falling edge T flip flop, which turns a pulse signal into a toggle signal. So this piston right here will either be on or off like that. To give you some perspective of the speed, I timed myself doing the old faithful cobble pillar. And to pillar up 36 blocks, it took me 17.4 seconds, which is a blazing two blocks per second. Wow. Now this elevator can do 36 blocks in 3.37 seconds, which is over 10 blocks per second. That's almost double as fast as sprinting. Speaking of double, this next elevator uses a double piston pattern real smooth. I actually designed the redstone myself and how it works is you stand right in between these two blocks here, press this button and this piston will push up and this piston will come out and push you up and this will do the same and so on and so forth until the very top where we have a piston that will come out at the last second so that you don't drop all the way back down. And just like the other one, when you're ready to go down, all you have to do is press that button and you will drop right the way back down. So let's give it a try. And three, two, one, here we go. And we're on our way. Moving at a good clip too. And there we are. If we pop around the back here, we'll see that there is a bit of redstone, but trust me, it's not that complicated. So basically this red wool right here is the redstone torch tower, which powers this yellow circuit and this green circuit. The way this yellow circuit works is this target block gets powered first, and then this back one gets powered, which pushes this front piston right next to the target block that's already powered, which makes it extend immediately. And in closing, this target block turns off first, and then this back piston. So it all works out perfectly. Same thing for the green circuit, it's just wired differently. But for speed, this elevator can do 36 blocks and 2.24 seconds, which is slower than the first, but still eight and a half blocks per second, that's pretty good. But the real reason you would build this is for the wow factor. It just feels so fast, you just Speaking of fast, this next elevator has one of the fastest setups. This is an old mumbo jumbo design and it works by placing a redstone block right here. And if we do that, boom, on our way. And as you can see, the pistons actually get powered by the redstone block itself. And when you're done, all you have to do is break this redstone block right there and the whole system is ready to go again. If we take a look at the speed, this elevator can do 36 blocks in 10.49 seconds or three and a half blocks per second. This thing just looks simple, but smart. But let's be realistic. It's not that fast. Speaking of realistic, this elevator looks the most realistic. I mean, just look at it. I'm having a hard time right now determining whether I'm playing Minecraft or in some fancy pantsy hotel somewhere. I don't know, I think I'm in a hotel. Oh my goodness, I don't have any legs. I've had nightmares where I'm not wearing any pants, but I've never had nightmares where I'm not wearing any legs. The way this works is we have three individual flying machines that make up this tiny room right here. You know what's funny? The word tiny is bigger than the word big. Whoa. That was your brain exploding. Anyways, these three flying machines all launch at the same time, thanks to this redstone line. And if we give it a test, we'll see that the door closes for us, which is very nice. And we'll make our way to the top. It does take a while, but at least we're riding in style. This animal clocks in at 18.04 seconds, which I'll be the first to admit 
is a little slow. It's actually slower than pillaring up. But you gotta think about the vibes you're sending. I mean, people are gonna look at you and be like, yeah, there's a man. Okay, maybe not, but it's still cool. Speaking of cool water, number five is a bubble vader with a block swapper underneath. Once we step on this pressure plate right here, the magma will move out of the way, soul sand will take its place, and we will go all the way to the stratosphere. After a few seconds, the blocks switch back, and now we can go down. But if you're a pro like me, you just MLG. What's nice about this design is it's customizable. If you want the soul sand to stick around longer, all you have to do is add more items into this hopper right here. So let's add some more right there. And there we are. Now the soul sand will stay for eight blocks longer. The bubble vader recorded at a time of 36 blocks in four seconds flat or nine blocks a second. That makes this elevator a great fast and simple option. Kind of like Mario Kart. Speaking of carts, this next elevator uses mine carts, which are suspended four blocks apart. And all you have to do is stand underneath it and click. Just holding right click, we can go up 36 blocks in 1.28 seconds, which is the fastest so far, but we're not done yet. With spam clicking, we can get up this thing in less than a second, 0.48 seconds, but we're still not done because I have a macro that can click over 700 times in a second. And with the macro, we can go 36 blocks in 0.4 five seconds, which is the fastest one, which is 80 blocks in a second. To be honest, I thought it would be a little bit faster, but I guess there's a limit. But still, that's lightning quick. I have a hard time believing that any other elevator is going to beat that explosive speed. Speaking of explosives, this next elevator uses TNT to launch players to the moon, or in this case, 36 blocks. On top here, we just have some water to catch us so we don't fall all the way back down again. And if we just give it a try, we'll see that we very quickly make it to the summit right here. There we are. This launcher can do 36 blocks in 5.11 seconds or seven blocks a second. And that's because it takes time for TNT to charge up. If we don't count that time, it takes 0.48 seconds to reach 36 blocks which is fast, but actually it's not even the fastest. This method is really fast, but it's not the fastest. And it is pretty expensive with all the TNT. And you have, do have to wear armor or else you'll die. So yeah, it, it does have some flaws, but it's still an option. Maybe not a great option, but still an option. Speaking of options, this elevator right here gives you floor options. So if you just want to go up one floor, you just press the button once and there you are, you're on the second floor. If you want to go up another floor, you just press the night of the button. And at the top here, all you have to do is press this doorbell right here and you'll fall down. Perfect. And if we take a look around the back here, we'll see the redstone signal goes through here and we'll have a T flip flop right here, which sends a signal up into this piston right here to shoot this out and to catch the person before he goes back down. If we get in here, there we are. Now the T flip flop has been triggered. And so once we press this button again, that'll trigger the T flip flop again, turning this off and retracting it into the wall. And this circuit right here is just to keep this piston on while this piston is still extended and then it retracts and then it gets to be pulled back. In a base that has lots of levels, this would be a pretty sweet fit. Speaking of sweet, this next elevator uses honey blocks and a bubble vader to boost you to the heavens. The way this works is the honey blocks are not full blocks. So when you're right in the corner, your hitbox can still be in the bubble vader. What's nice about this design is that going down is a lot easier. All you have to do is jump down and before you hit the ground, all you have to do is jump down and before you hit the ground, press forward and slide on the honey, just like that. This setup can do 36 blocks in 3.28 seconds, which is a decent speed, but not the best. Speaking of the best, like I said at the start, I have saved the best for last. And looking at this contraption, you might get a little confused on what the heck is going on here. I mean, we have rails, we got T flip flops everywhere. I mean, what the heck is this? Well, behind this door is the best elevator system ever created in Minecraft. It's so simple, elegant, 
and versatile. Well, you probably already guessed it by now. It is, drum roll please, the almighty ladder. Not the former, the ladder. That's right, this two by one design can take you all the way from bedrock to the build height without any problems. And speed, <laughs> well, just look at this. I mean, wow, that's some, that's some speed right there. In fact, this multifaceted machine can do 36 blocks in 15.23 seconds, or 2.3 blocks per second. Okay, it might not be fast, but at least it's reliable. If I had to pick one of these to build in my base, I would probably build Wooly Creeper's Slime Block Elevator. It's just so effective and barely uses any resources. And if I wanted to show off, I would probably build this one because it looks so cool. And it's just like, wow. And if I wanted to show off but didn't have that many resources, I would use this one. I guess all these designs have a circumstance in which they would be very, very useful. So on that note, it looks like that's gonna do it for now. I hope you know a little bit more about elevators than you did when you started this video. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.